in this week's highlight clip presented by Meyer. The Eastern Kentucky baseball team concluded the regular season by winning two of three at Murray State. In game one of this series, three Eastern Kentucky pitchers led by starter Brent Cobb combined to two hit Murray State in a three run victory. The Thoroughbreds were held hitless for seven and a third innings. Cobb pitched six hitless innings. He would walk two and strike out six. Shane Grimm and Cody Creamer finished off MSU. In game two, Luke Wurzelbacher's RBI double in the 10th inning led Eastern to a 9-7 win. Alex Hughes staked EKU to an early 3-0 lead when he sent a ball over the right field fence with a couple of runners on. He'd go two for five with the run scored in three RBIs. Miles Scott made his first start as a Colonel, holding the Thoroughbreds to two earned runs over his five innings of work. In the third game of the series, EKU built an 8-3 lead, but couldn't hold off a late rally by Murray State and lost 9-8. Junior Matt Lynch allowed just three runs in his six innings on the mound. Sean Ball gave the Colonels a 3-2 lead with a two-run double in the third inning. Brian Solomon and Wurzelbacher each had RBI singles in a three-run eighth inning. Eastern Kentucky will begin play at the 2013 OVC Tournament on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Uh, definitely feel good about our team. We got some senior leaders stepping up, some young guys stepping up. I think that we're willing, if our pitching's there, that we're going to be able to make a turn, or run in this tournament and be good. You know, I'm just coming out here, uh, giving it my best and trying to contribute. Uh, you know, I think we got a lot of potential. Uh, we can string them together and uh, make a run at it. Well, we got to get good starting pitching, number one. And uh, we've got four starters that have been doing well of late. So uh, we're excited to see what they can do. Uh, we'll go with Brent Cobb the first game, and it's kind of up in the air after that. If we win that, we might go more with matchups. But those other three starters, I think, will give us a chance to win. We have been uh, hitting the ball fairly well. We um, We've got a team that, that can score a bunch of runs, and that's been proven throughout the conference season. That we can put up a lot of runs at any given point, so we're excited to, to just get out there and compete. The fifth-seeded Colonels will face number four seed Jacksonville State in their first round of the double elimination tournament in Jackson, Tennessee. This has been David Miller for EKU Sports.